Well, reading scales can be tricky sometimes until you kind of get the hang of it. And the important part anytime you're trying to read a scale is kind of check to see what it's going up in. Is each little hash on the scale that you're looking at going up in ones or twos or tens or hundreds? Fives? What's it doing? So one of the things that you can do is kind of take a look at it. And if you're not sure how to figure it out exactly, you can always take a guess and just try to count to the first number to see if you're right. And what I mean is, kind of on this first example here, you can see the hashes in there. If I started at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Counting it out, it does go in ones. I can count each of those as a 1 and I get to 10. And 5 being the little hashes in between that aren't marked. So that works for that one. If I'm checking here, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, that doesn't work. It doesn't get me to 40. So I kind of have to think of another way to do it. And one way to do this is to look at how far you have to cover, like what's the difference between the big numbers, and then how many pieces are you going to break it up to. So the difference here between the big numbers is 10. From 30 to 40 is 10. And I need to break that up into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pieces. So 10 broken up into 5 pieces is going to be equal to 2. So this is going up in 2's 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. And now I know that I'm in the right spot with it. So, once you've figured out what your scales are going up in, you can read it precisely. So if I look here on this first example, looking to see where the needle is on the scale, it's past 10, past 20, past 25, because remember each of these are going up in ones, and the little hashes in between are going up in fives. We saw that earlier, so this is 5, 15, 25, then we would go 26 and 27. So this would be 27, and I think this is a weight scale, so this would be 27 grams. Let's assume that these are measuring in grams. On the next one, kind of looks similar, but let's see what's going on here. If I try ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's not going to make it. I need to get to 10. Let's try twos, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. It works, and again, another way to look at that would be I have to go from 0 to 10, a distance of 10, <coughs> and I need to do that in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 steps. So to get 10 broken up into 5 steps, I need them to be 2 each, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So looking through this, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, so that's the 16, and that's the 18, and you'll notice this one is halfway in between, so I would guess that that would be the 17 grams. On this scale, again, we kind of already looked at it, that it goes up in twos, so just to check it, 30, 2, 4, 6, 8, 40. So this one is going to read as 50, 2, 4. So this here would be 54 grams. We often do this looking at rulers. Um, and they're pretty straightforward with the millimeters. Noticing that the big numbers, these would be the centimeters. So I could say that's 1 centimeter, 2 centimeters, 3 centimeters, 4 centimeters. But the little numbers in between, those count as the millimeters. Because there's 10 millimeters in every centimeter. So if I wanted to measure this in millimeters, I would count it out and just see what's going on here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It does go up in ones. So I'm going to go 10 of them, 20 of them, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this would be 24 millimeters. And if I wanted to read it out in centimeters, using the big numbers, I would say that's 1 centimeter, 2 centimeters, and that's 0.4 of the next centimeter. So I would say 2.4 centimeters. But I'd say a lot of measurements are done in millimeters. Even for building houses, almost everything is quoted to you in millimeters. Um, looking at volume here, sometimes you've got like a measurement um, jar that you would use in your kitchen for like measuring out milk or water. Let's check to see what the scales are here. So if you want to try it out, I have to get to 500 and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 steps. So it probably goes in 100s. So let's try it. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. That works. And I see that's one, two, three, four of those. So this is going to be 400 milliliters. On the next one, 
I've got to go from 0 to 100 in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 steps. So that's 100 in 5 steps. That's going to be 20. Try it out. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. It works. So this one I know needs to be 320. So this would be 320 milliliters. So just be careful. Double check your scales before you read anything off of them. And this works the same for plotting on graphs. You need to make sure you pay attention to the scale that they give you. If you're not sure, just make sure you test it out and count out what you think it might be um, between the first and the second big number. And then away you are.